I'm sure that all of your experiences didn't bring you joy. So talk about the challenges of being an African American and really exploring and having the opportunity to show your work or to make inroads, um, to become who you are. There's always been people around me uh, to encourage me, and, uh, and and even when I was in ch when I was when I was really young in church, my job was not to teach Sunday school, but to paint about the Sunday school lesson. But really, I was allowed to do that from the time that I was like seven or eight years old. I was encouraged. Matter of fact, Mrs. Chambers, who was our Sunday school superintendent. She followed me in my work along with the, the mother of the church, the pastor's wife, throughout my career, throughout, even after I finished college. So I've been constantly encouraged and nurtured by my own community. There's one word that you would feel after you shared it and that you felt that it would, could possibly impart or inspire others. What would that one word be? journey, enjoying the experience or the journey of learning and, uh, and expressing oneself. You're traveling around, you need to stop by the wayside and smell the roses that came with it. Well, this is constantly smelling the roses because there's so much to take in and so much to give out imbibing it mm. and enjoying the, 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 the reality of that. Well, what was the one moment in your journey that really um, lights up your memory and really lifts your spirit in your heart? That moment that you said, I'm in the right place doing the right thing and it feels so incredible to me. When I was in, in, in high school, you know, I was highly respected and highly looked up to as an artist. And the teacher at that time took me under her wing and really nurtured me. And I was selling artwork. I was doing murals, and painting signs and things like that in the local community. Um, and then after, when it came time for me to graduate, she said, LaVon, I don't want you to go directly to an art school. I want you to go and get a liberal arts education mm. from a very good liberal arts college. I couldn't afford the university at that time, the University of Rochester. But uh, someone talked to someone at Roberts Wesleyan College, and I was able to get in. And I went on and got my liberal arts education, or started to work on my liberal arts education. Dropped out after about two and a half years to work to make money to go back. And during that period of time, I got drafted. And once I got drafted, I got stationed in Fort Devens, Massachusetts. At the gallery there, the major gallery there in Boston, the museum, the Art Museum of Boston, I saw the work of uh, Picasso, uh, The Rape of the Sarbians, and Guernica. Okay, and Guernica was a little town in Spain that the Germans used to bomb as an example of their power. Okay? Mm -hmm. But those two paintings got me interested in art all over again. That was the turning point in my career. That's when I that's that's when I once I left the army I went straight into art school and went straight through. Okay, got my uh, my master's degree. So that was the turning point. During that period of time, I kept painting and kept doing the things that I did. But that was the turning point for me. Never really liked Picasso. <laughs> Never really liked Cubism. But that was the thing that turned me on. So it's that part of self-discovery. Yes. And oftentimes, especially for a lot of our students, um, having them look in different places and step outside of their street, outside of their block, outside of their neighborhoods, oftentimes that's maybe where they could possibly find an inspirational point. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. And they have to do it within themselves. Mm. 
Somebody can't tell you. She tried. She did the, the, the best she could do, you know, to lead me to that place. But I had to discover it. 